A repeated question in the industry is, what is MTF? MTF stands for Modulation Transfer Function, and isn't that a technical mouthful? So we have to try and simplify that, but it is very important. When a lens images a three-dimensional scene, it intercepts the light being reflected from that scene and then transfers that through the lens to create a little, tiny little two-dimensional representation at the output port. And in doing that, it is trying to faithfully represent the color reproduction, the tonal reproduction of that scene, and the sharpness of that scene. And isn't sharpness what high definition is all about? Let me try and illustrate a real-world scene with, with a simple picture. Here we have an environment and some humans in it. And when you look at this scene, you will see it's made up of large areas, like the outlines of the young ladies. It's made up of details in the sky, the sand, the clothing, etc. Color details, black and white details. And a lens is trying to transfer all of that. As you board in and look at the details in the hair, details in the clothing, details in the face, you're looking at contrast changes. And that's what the lens is trying to faithfully reproduce, is contrast changes. So contrast and sharpness are inextricably linked. Now we can measure MTF of a lens or MTF of a lens camera. And it's done with what we call uh, line pairs, burst charts, in other words, a chart that has some contrast in it. If we look at a very low frequency, two line pairs, white, black, white, black, any lens would reproduce that with a very good contrast on the output. But as we raise the detail or the fineness of those line pairs, we note in all lenses the contrast drops. And when we get higher and higher, the contrast drops further and further there is a modulation of the contrast being transferred by the lens. Modulation transfer function MTF. Why is it important? If you measure it, and there are many test charts, I'm sure you've seen the famous burst charts for looking at resolution. For high definition, if you make a few measurements at 200 television lines, 400, 600, 800, four points, plot them, you get a little curve. The shape of that curve is crucially important to how the human visual system reacts to sharpness. It was shown that it's the area under that curve is directly proportional to our reaction to sharpness. Bottom line, you want the lens and camera to deliver you an MTF curve with as high a belly as possible at the lower spatial frequencies in the mid-band spatial frequencies. The very high spatial frequencies don't matter. You don't see those. So the lens and the camera with the highest curve will be the sharpest. So when you're assessing cameras, pick one lens, bicycle it across the contending cameras, make those four measurements I indicated, and see which curve is the highest. If you're assessing lenses, pick a camera, bicycle the lenses across that one camera, plot those four points, and see which is the highest curve. That way you can get a quick assessment of who is the best MTF, therefore will deliver the sharpest stimulation to the human visual system.